Hello everybody and welcome to our new video training package of Abacus. Composite fatigue simulation with VU mat subroutine in Abacus. Are you a mechanical engineer looking to deepen your understanding of fatigue in materials and structures? Our new package is specifically designed for you. Using the VU mat subroutine, we offer a comprehensive approach to investigating and managing fatigue in mechanical engineering. Our package includes some techniques that will allow you to accurately predict and prevent fatigue failure in your designs. In this video, we will introduce you to the key features of our package and demonstrate how it can help you to optimize the durability and reliability of your mechanical systems. Don't miss out on this opportunity to enhance your expertise in fatigue and take your engineering skills to the next level. This package includes one lesson and two workshops. The lesson section has referred to the, these titles Fatigue of composite materials Failure of composite materials Fatigue effects in composites Composite fatigue analysis with VU mat Now let's go and watch some parts of the video package Welcome to another engaging and practical tutorial from the CAE Assistant Group. In this tutorial, we aim to learn step-by-step -step how to simulate fatigue in a unidirectional composite using the VU math subroutine. This tutorial consists of four chapters, where in the first chapter we will discuss fatigue in composites. In the second chapter, we will discuss the types of damages and failures that occur due to fatigue in composites. In the next chapter, the effects of fatigue on the life, mechanical and strength properties of composites will be studied. Finally, in chapter 4, we will learn how to simulate fatigue and write the VU mass subroutine line by line. In this slide, we recommend that you obtain the UMAT and VUMAT learning packages before starting this tutorial. By learning this tutorial, you can deeply understand the advanced concepts and quickly learn the materials taught. As mentioned, the present package simulates fatigue effects in composites using the VUMAT subroutine. Also, you can find the fatigue simulation in composites using the UMAT subroutine on CAE Assistant. Com. Finally, if you deeply understand these tutorials, you can simulate fatigue phenomenon in any type of composites. In the future, the fatigue simulation in balsa wood, which is one of the most practical composites, will be taught. In the first section of Chapter 1, we want to investigate the difference in fatigue effects between composite materials and others. Composites differ from traditional materials in several ways in terms of fatigue. Here are some of the key differences. In this figure, you can see the types of fiber and matrix placement in composites. By changing the shape and size of fibers, the type and properties of composites will also change. Overall, these differences make fatigue analysis and design of composites more complex than for traditional materials in composites. There are several failure mechanisms uh, that can occur in composite materials under fatigue loading. In composites with continuous fibers, fatigue loading can cause progressive damage to individual fibers, leading to fiber fracture. This can occur due to the accumulation of micro cracks or due to stress concentrations at defects like notches or holes. Matrix cracking is another common fatigue failure mechanism in composites. As the composite material is cylindrically loaded, cracks can form in the matrix material due to stress concentrations or microstructural defects. These cracks can grow and coalesce over time, leading to significant damage and potentially catastrophic failure. Delamination is a failure mode that is unique to composite materials. It occurs when layers of composite material separate from one another due to cyclic loading. Also, it occurs typically due to 
interlaminar stresses caused by differences in stiffness or thermal expansion coefficients between the layers. The interface between the fibers and matrix material in a composite can also be a site of fatigue failure. Cyclic loading can cause damage to the interface, leading to interface debonding, fiber pullout, or other types of failure. You can see different modes of damage and failure in this image. Number 3 We will examine the effects of fatigue in composites. In fact, every time a composite part is subjected to compression, tension, or bending, some molecular dislocations occur inside the part, which may lead to chemical and physical changes in the structure of the part. These changes can result in a significant reduction in the mechanical properties of the composite part, such as strength, flexibility, and hardness. The two important effects that fatigue creates in composites are the lifespan of the composite and reducing its mechanical and strength properties. Regarding the lifespan of the composite, we can initially predict it with using the energy density in the composite. Using these formulas, we can calculate the energy density values in different directions. Note that the number of cycles obtained from this relationship does not indicate the actual lifespan of this composite. Under the fatigue phenomenon, the composite gradually loses its strength and its mechanical properties decrease. Therefore, the ultimate lifespan of the composite is less than the lifespan calculated using these formulas. So it is better to calculate the lifespan of the composite under real conditions. To calculate the lifespan of the composite, we need to determine which phase it is in. If it is in the fatigue loading phase, we can estimate its ultimate lifespan using the following equation. However, if it is in the static loading phase, meaning that fatigue has not occurred in the composite yet. So we can estimate the number of cycles in the current increment using the number of cycles in the previous increment. There we will first study the flowcharts related to the subroutine process to be generally familiar with the process of the code. This flow section of chapter 4 we will review the VU math subroutine line by line. Don't worry, this subroutine is not complicated and you can easily use it for your projects. Let's go to the Visual Studio to check the VU math subroutine together. Like other packages, this section is also subject to the copyright laws of the CAE Assistant Group. The VU math subroutine starts from this section. In this section, before moving on to a complex model, we first run the subroutine for a simple model. The simple model is a plate that is under compression from one side and its other side is fixed. Let's go to the abacus to briefly observe the simulation. For the complex model, detailed explanations will be provided along the, with the data. Yes, the chart also shows this trend. The next variable is the maximum stress in direction 1, which is introduced with SDV11. The chart of this variable should gradually decrease in a, a sinusoidal manner. OK, it is better to change the y-axis range to make the charts more clear. In this section of Chapter 4, we want to observe the application of the VU math subroutine in Abacus. We expect the final results to be consistent with the theory and assumptions. The composite structure you see is in the form of a trapezoid with a hole and is subjected to moments in two directions. OK, let's go to Abacus and proceed through all the simulation and analysis steps together. As you can see, the composite structure is in this form. In the next step, the properties that we defined in the VU math subroutine as the mechanical and strength properties of the composite are introduced here. As you know, 30 properties have been introduced here like in the subroutine. From toolbox area, the composite layers can be defined. By selecting the Create Composite Layout, 
option, the number of composite layers and their orientation can be determined. Here some important fatigue analysis variables have been shown. You can select any variable of interest and analyze its decreasing or increasing trend. Thank you for being with us until the end of this section. We hope we could provide useful knowledge for you in this tutorial. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope it will be useful for you.